Using the instructions manual, check for new and updated risk assessments and check the date of when you last signed off on those risk assessments. To begin, if the manual flash button is on, then press it once, release it and wait for it to stop flashing. Check the following settings. The accelerating voltage should be off. The X stage position should be at 25 millimeters. The Y stage position should be at 35. Your external Z should be at 39 millimeters. Your tilt should be at zero. And your rotate should be zeroed as well. Push the initial set button. Using clean gloves, we're going to remove the sample exchange rod from the vertical holder and remove the sample stage from the specimen chamber. Place the sample exchange rod in the outer chamber and hold the perspex window in position. Press the red button on the inner door of the sample insertion chamber to pump the outer chamber. Wait until the light goes out. Open the manual chamber door. Gently turn the knob towards you one quarter turn. Pull the knob out. Push the sample rod in to collect the sample stage. Look at eye level to ensure the threaded end engages with the sample holder thread. Turn the knob gently clockwise until it stops. Pull out the rod with attached specimen stage until it clips into fully out position. Close the manual inner door. Vent the outer chamber. Hold the window in position. Place the sample exchange rod and attach sample stage on the holder. Mount the sample in the sample stage, using forceps to mount the sample. Tighten the locking screw gently finger tight. Load the sample into the chamber. Placing the sample exchange rod in the outer chamber and holding the perspex window in position. Press the red button on the inner door of the sample insertion chamber to pump the outer chamber. Wait until the light goes out. Open the manual chamber door. Gently turn the knob towards you, one quarter turn. Pull the knob out. Insert the sample by carefully pushing the sample stage onto the dovetail mount. Turn the rod anti-clockwise. Make sure that the stage is fully released before retracting the rod. Close the manual inner door. Vent the outer chamber. Hold the window in position. Press the red button to vent. Turn the brightness contrast knobs for the CRT screens up as far as they can go clockwise. Press PF2 to bring up the EOS monitor. Push your fast button. Change your magnification to a low mag. Make sure your accelerating voltage is off. Select the desired voltage. Push the accelerating voltage button on. Wait for the emission current to reach 12 microamps. Adjust your brightness and contrast as needed to view your image. At the completion of your SEM session, turn your accelerating voltage off. Push brake button, push escape and then brake again. Push a slow button, turn your magnification up to maximum value, turn down your brightness and contrast. Press PF1 to remove the menu. Turn down your brightness on your monitors. Leave the manual on the microscope. 